Thank you for taking the time to watch this video to better prepare you for your total joint replacement. This presentation is meant to supplement the joint replacement booklet that you received from your provider. Please reference it with any questions. The information here is meant to be a general overview of expectations of your procedure. More specific education will be provided following your procedure based on each individual case. Please consider watching this presentation with a family member or a friend who might be able to serve as a caregiver to you in your recovery. Having a caregiver to help coach you through your recovery process is extremely helpful for you to achieve your goals. If you have any additional questions following this presentation, please contact your orthopedic surgeon. Total joint replacement has been shown to be very effective in reducing pain and improving function for an arthritic joint. There are other options for pain management and improving function including medication management, therapy, and injections. If, however, you have tried all of these without benefit, a total joint replacement is likely the best choice for you. Studies have shown that most participants get full benefit from their new joint in 6 to 12 months with greater than 80% satisfaction rates. It varies depending on your lifestyle, but your new joint can last 15 to 20 years or more. The most important component of the success of your total joint replacement is you. You will get out of your joint what you put into it. Be an active participant in your recovery process. Ask questions, do your exercises as prescribed by your physical and occupational therapist, and follow your surgeon's instructions. Now is the time to start preparing for your surgery. Start with exercises. You will be prescribed exercises following your joint replacement. Your recovery will be aided if you start these exercises now, as tolerated, including leg lifts, bending and straightening your knee, marching in place, and heel raises. Arm exercises are also extremely helpful as you'll be using more arm muscles than you normally do because of the need to use a walker. Plan for your return home by removing as much clutter in your house as you can, preparing meals ahead of time, making sure that you have a comfortable chair to rest in with armrests, put things that you frequently use within arm's reach, and arrange for pet care as needed. It is very important to arrange for someone to assist you when you go home. Having a caregiver or coach to assist you in your recovery, especially in the first week or so, has been proven to be extremely important in a successful recovery. Shortly before your joint replacement, you will receive a phone call from the surgery department to go over last minute preparations, including when to stop eating and drinking and what medications you will need to take before coming in for surgery. You will receive special instructions for showers and washes prior to surgery if you haven't already. This is very important to limit your chance of infection. Be sure to pack comfortable clothing. Please bring knit, loose shorts or pants as you will most likely have some swelling of the leg following surgery. Supportive non-skid shoes or slippers are also suggested for comfort. If you have a CPAP, a device that's used at home at night to assist with breathing while sleeping, please bring it with you. On the day of surgery, you can expect to meet with your surgeon one last time, at which point they will mark your operative leg. You will also meet with your anesthesiologist, at which time you can voice concerns of any previous reactions to medications if you haven't spoken to a provider about that before. The surgery will take approximately one to three hours. You will then be taken to the recovery area, at which time your family or friends will be notified of your status. You will be in recovery for approximately one hour. At that time, you will be transported to the hospital floor. The nurses there will be checking on you frequently to ensure that you continue to come out of anesthesia appropriately. Physical therapy will also see you shortly after you arrive to the hospital floor for early mobility. Depending on your tolerance, they will be getting you up to the side of the bed, standing, and hopefully walking. Early mobility has consistently been shown to decrease possible postoperative complications. Possible postoperative complications include pain, increased fall risk, infection, blood clots, pneumonia, and constipation. Early and often mobility can help to combat all of these complications. In addition, you'll receive medications to help with the pain and prevention of blood clots and constipation. You'll be provided and instructed on an incentive spirometer, which aids to prevent pneumonia, and the hospital staff takes multiple measures to decrease your risk for infection. During the course of your hospital stay, we encourage you to be out of your bed regularly, sitting up in the bedside chair at least for meals and walking throughout the day. 
Please always ask for assistance from the nursing staff with these activities because you are at a higher risk for falling initially following a total joint replacement. Please voice your pain levels to your nurses. You can expect some pain in your recovery as being pain-free is unlikely, but our goal is to make it tolerable enough to participate in therapy. While admitted, you will be seen by physical therapy two times per day and occupational therapy one time per day as needed. Physical therapy's role is to review and perform exercises that will assist with joint mobility and return of muscle activation and facilitate safe mobility at the level you need to return home. Occupational therapy's role is to ensure you are independent enough to perform activities of daily living, such as getting dressed and bathed, with the amount of assistance that you will have at home. Occupational therapy will sometimes recommend adaptive equipment that can aid in independence of getting dressed and bathed. This type of equipment is not covered by insurance, so we recommend that you ask around from neighbors, family, or friends if you can borrow equipment. Otherwise, they are available for purchase at the Mercy Health Mall in Janesville. Additionally, a raised toilet seat can be very useful as it is often difficult to stand up and sit down off of a toilet as many toilets are traditionally lower to the ground. Also, if you have a tub shower, a tub transfer bench can be a good option for safely transferring in and out of the tub to reduce the risk of falling. These items are also not covered by insurance, but again, ask neighbors, family, or friends. Otherwise, they can be purchased at the Mercy Health Mall in Janesville. You will also need a walker initially to take pressure off of your new joint while walking. Please ask neighbors, family, or friends, but if you are unable to find one to use, insurance typically covers these items if one has not been issued to you within the past five years. If you have the option, a standard aluminum walker with two wheels in the front is preferred over a standard walker without wheels or a four-wheeled walker with a seat. Standard walkers without wheels can be clumsy to walk with, and four-wheeled walkers are not stable enough to safely bear weight through them to take pressure off of your new joint. Discharge planning starts well before the surgery even takes place. You should be setting up family or friends to assist as caregivers, preparing your home for safety measures, and making arrangements. Following your surgery, we know that you are safe to discharge home once you are able to get in and out of bed by yourself, get in and out of the bathroom with little or no help, walk at least 100 feet with a walker, bathe and dress yourself with little to no help, go up and down stairs depending on your home setup, and are able to independently perform the exercises issued to you by your therapist. In addition, your pain needs to be controlled with pills. Discharge recommendations are combined recommendations from the nurses, therapists, social workers, doctors, and most importantly, you. Once you are home, you will need to continue an adequate level of mobility and perform your exercises as prescribed by your therapist. There are multiple options for discharging home with continued care, which include discharging home with home health, where a therapist comes to your home, which is most common, discharging home and you continue therapy in an outpatient setting where you go to a clinic, discharge home to, with an independent home exercise program, or discharging to a rehab facility. Discharging to a rehab facility requires authorization from your insurance and you must meet criteria. If you are able to, discharging home is the best recommendation for recovery. You'll be getting this 5x7 magnet, if you haven't already, to help guide you through common concerns that arise following a joint replacement. If you're able to do your exercises and are mobile in your home with good pain control, you're doing well. If you have increased redness, swelling, or pain in the joint or incision, fever, pain, redness, or swelling of the calf, uncontrolled pain, numbness, tingling, or change in color of the surgical leg, or a fall at home, call your surgeon's office. If you experience shortness of breath, chest pain, or a sudden sharp pain and inability to bear weight, go to the emergency room or call 911. Finally, Mercy Health would like to encourage all adults who are undergoing a total joint replacement to fill out advanced care planning documents. These documents are instructions to whomever you designate to make health care related decisions on your behalf if you are in a position where you're unable to do so. If you would like to complete these documents, Mercy Health Certified Advanced Care Planning Facilitators can help. Please ask your doctor for more information. Thank you for taking the time to review this material before your joint replacement. Please remember that the best indicator for a successful outcome is you. 
If you put the hard work in, follow the instructions from your doctors, therapists, and nurses, you will have a new joint and an improved quality of life. If you have any further questions, please contact your orthopedic surgeon's office. Thank you.